Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Taylor's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Moore is proving to be elusive. Taylor's power is dynamic. Truly dynamic. The kind of stuff that could end this fight early on. Yeah, it is, but there's a danger to that, too. If he doesn't land early on, if he doesn't have his way early on, maybe he gets discouraged. Very accurate two-punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Blocks away that headshot. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Blocks the headshot. Sergio Mora is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent, and then a good counter by the Latin snake, Sergio Mora. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Jermaine Taylor's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sergio Mora. What an excellent two-punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Taylor's combination punching is working well here. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Nice strike after catching one by Sergio Mora. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Taylor showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good-looking counter by Taylor. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Halfway through this round here, not able to connect with the uppercut. Jermaine Taylor's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Scoring well with that hook by Jermaine Taylor. Nice. Gets rid of that effort. Taylor's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Look at that combination by Jermaine Taylor. Man, that's it, baby. Good job. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. And that's the end of round two. Morris Cutman is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, Adrenaline, and Thrum, but I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue now he's putting his punches together the combination upstairs needs to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot nice work nice work that is a big right hand after eating one himself
Jermaine Taylor is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Jermaine Taylor. Sergio Mora's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Jermaine Taylor. A snapping combination by the Latin snake, Sergio Mora. Mora's left, working well that time. Oh. Now start around number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard and get his insight. Good work defensively by Jermaine Taylor. Plus, he landed that counterpunch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Keep it up. Jermaine Taylor with a counterpunch. Moore is known as a capable fighter, but right now he needs to be known as a fighter who can make adjustments. What's the one adjustment you want to see with him, Teddy? Keep his hands up. You know, he's so used to getting away with all that speed that he has. A pull back with his hands down. You know, he's paying a price. He's been getting caught here all night long. You know, just keep your hands up. Block some of those incoming shots. Basic but beautiful. Jab right hand. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. He clinches when he gets to the inside. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Jermaine Taylor. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Taylor's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by the Latin snake, Sergio Mora. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Jermaine Taylor. Keep working the bus. And now he's targeting upstairs. Accuracy an issue there, didn't land that straight right hand. Jermaine Taylor's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. One, two, baby. One, two. Keep him popping. Keep him popping. Moore is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Good combination by Jermaine Taylor. Good, good. Sergio Mora has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch score. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Jermaine Taylor Moore is gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter that was a miss by Jermaine Taylor a little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good job on the two-punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. Good-looking counter by Taylor. Mora's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, 
he needs to extend them just a little bit away so as you said those punches you know aren't going to force their way through to the target which they're doing right now they're getting down to him they're getting brutal taylor's landed a good solid combination Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Taylor's doing well here with that two-punch combination. So it's the end of the round. And as both men head back to their respective corners, Teddy, it uh, brings up a good point that's many times not talked enough, but the culture of a corner and how guys conduct themselves, what was always your philosophy in organizing and running a corner? Well, first of all, only one guy could be in charge. That's the trainer. You can't have uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. It has to be organized like anything else. And you have to have calm people. You only have one minute. Maybe by the time the fighter gets back, maybe it's 50 seconds. So you have to be efficient. You can't have guys that are excited. They have to be able to control their emotions just like the fighter does on the outside. And everyone has to know what their job is. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Jermaine Taylor. Mora's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricep all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. Halfway point of this last round. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. That's it, that's it. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Nice combo by Jermaine Taylor. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Jermaine Taylor with a counterpunch. There's the combo downstairs. So two guys who everybody thought had no chance of hearing the final bell now wait for the judges' scorecards. Uh, explosions early on, but later on, just a little tap dancing. 